All right, what's going on everybody from YouTube? So as you see here, I got my TVS Discovery. It's pretty much uh, all finished. Uh, I've been flying it a couple times. I changed the layout of everything, how I laid out the electronics. Um, besides that, I've been flying it quite a bit. Recently, what I just changed today was I got rid of the GPS mount. I got rid of that, I put it down to the low spot on the frame and then I also got rid of the red and white arms I installed all blacks all around looks much cleaner much nicer if you're not worried about orientation or anything like that when you're flying without the FPV it should be pretty fine I also added lights on mine so I have white and red lights on it so that's pretty nice too Another thing I changed is I got rid of these, the Opto 30 amp. These are great speed controls, um, but I did notice a lot of, a lot of things when it came to wind. Um, it would shake a lot and everything like that. A lot of people said that these are not the greatest speed controls. They are very good for starting off with the quad, but when it comes to getting on later and later and trying to get better and better quality video, these aren't the best. Um, they also don't perform very well under uh, quick maneuvers. So what I ended up getting, um, I was going to order the TBS style ones, but instead I decided to go with the FPV uh, manuals. Let's see if I can get it in. Okay, there you go. These are the 30 amp. These are flashed with Simunk uh, firmware. So Simunk is a very good... Uh, firmware setup for speed controls for quads like this um, and this thing performs much better I took it out already once uh, just to test it out um, and it definitely changed the performance the next thing I eventually want to change out is the motors these are still the stock DJI motors um, they're good motors 920 kV but I do want to change them out I am gonna look at the uh, Tiger Motors, um, which is my next uh, purchase for this quad. Um, besides that, this quad is great. I'm running a 600 TV lines camera that I got from Security Cam 2000. Um, I also picked up the 5.8 600 milliwatt uh, video transmitter. Um, this is Immersion RC's version. Works really good. I use the Fat Shark SpiroNet uh, antennas. So far, I love them. Um, I haven't had any major range issues or anything like that. Um, what else am I using on this? I'm, I do have the TBS core. Um, it's inside there, if you can sort of see it. Um, I do have that installed, which right now I'm using their on-screen display. Um, I am waiting for the Immersion RC on-screen OSD. Um, because uh, I want to check it out. I've heard that it's really good. It gives you every GPS coordinates and stuff like that. I want to go a little bit further with this quad. I know I can go a little bit further, so I want to check that out. Um, I do have that uh, on order and soon to get that. Um, what else? I do run the GoPro up here too. Uh, I run the black version, which I shoot in 1080p, 60 frames per second, just in case I want to play around with some of the pictures or anything like that. I could pull pictures out of there too. Um, uh, let's see, what else am I running? I'm running a three cell. A lot of people are running four cells on these. I love my three cell. I'm running a three cell 5065C and I get a lot of punch. I get a lot of flight time. I get about 18 minutes. Um, on average, I get about 15 minutes. So. I can get about 18, maybe 19, but on average I'm getting about 15, um, which is great. Uh, it gives me a lot of flight time, a lot of play time to go play with it. Um, let's see what else. I'm running a DX18 QQ with this. Very nice radio. Um, pretty easy to set up. Uh, I did find a couple nice uh, websites that have uh, good downloaded or downloadable uh, setups for this quad uh, also for the 550 um, what else uh, I'm running the I'm using the dominators for my goggles 
That's what I'm using. I'm also using the TBS uh, 5 dBi uh, patch antenna. This antenna so far has been my favorite antenna. It works really well. Um, as long as you're pointed at the quad and the quad's not behind you or anything, it, fly, it great, displays great video. Um, I'm pretty good and I usually know where it's going so I'll follow it myself. So when I'm, even though I have the goggles on, I'm pretty good at knowing where the quad is so I sort of follow it. And if it goes behind me, all I do is turn around and the video is fine. Um, it does go a little bit behind you, but if you had to go really far behind you, that's when you want to turn around. Another antenna that I have tried, um, maybe it's just the head setup, but I tried the IB Crazy uh, spiral antenna. This antenna is great. Um, it goes far, but I noticed that it's a very narrow path, so that's the problem. I didn't really like it. I had to move too much with that one. Um, Maybe if I had a couple with a diversity receiver, maybe a little bit better. But right now, I like my patch antenna. Um, I've also tried, instead of the patch, I've also used the Immersion RC for the receiving end. Um, but I like the patch much better. Picks up much better signal. Um, and surprisingly, I can go pretty far with it. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. Um, I've been through a lot with this quad. I did start off with a DJI 450, um, and then I ended up purchasing everything individually to build up to this. Um, I recommend, if you're gonna go into quads, DJI for sure, by far, is the best when it comes to stability and everything like that. Um, I haven't had any issues. They actually just released a brand new firmware. If anybody's looking for updates or anything like that, make sure you check out the new firmware. It definitely helped a lot. The GPS signal picks up a much quicker, um, especially after changing batteries. It just instantly picks up GPS. Um, I can tell that they also changed a little bit with the firmware to do with the stability. Even with the stock speed controls, it was a big change in how it handled. Um, besides that, this is a great quad. Um, even if you start off with the basic 450, throw any type of camera on the front, yeah, you might have props in your view, but it's a fun thing to do. I mean, I got a bunch of people involved in this now, um, and they never even flew before, and I got them into quads, and they're able to fly. Uh, that's pretty much how stable these things are. Um, Besides that, this thing is great. I also have the TM-1000 on here, um, mainly for telling me telemetry back on my transmitter. Do I really need that? No, but I figured since I have it, might as well just stick it on there. Um, I do like it. It does vibrate when the battery is starting to get lower, towards the lower end and stuff like that. I also have the um, altitude sensor on there, so I know roughly on the transmitter, I can see how high roughly I was going. Um, Besides that, uh, thanks for watching the video. Check out my other videos. I know I haven't posted too many in a while, um, especially with like unboxing and stuff like that. But soon I will be ha posting more stuff. Um, thanks for watching the video. Check out all my other videos and please subscribe.